Welcome back to another Jay's Cole Luck video, and today we are moving on with the Falcon and the Winter Soldier wave, or I guess Disney Plus show within this Disney Plus wave. We got the Winter Soldier, Bucky Barnes, and like I said, he's part of the build a figure for Captain America's wings and everything. So with that, let's all take a look at the package. Take a look at the package here. We get the Legends logo up here. Uh, we get the build a figure um, description up here, Captain America wings. We get, get a look at Bucky inside a package and everything. Get the Falcon and Soldier logo down there. Here's a side shot of the box art right there. Take a look at the back. We get another photo of him with his bio. And then on the bottom here, we get a look at everyone who is in that wave for the build a figure wings and everything. And turning to the side, we get another shot of Bucky right there. And then now we're back at the front. So with that, let's now take him out and take a look at how he's packaged within that plastic tray. Here we got a look at him inside the tray. We just get Bucky Barnes and two hand accessories. I'm not going to take those out, but that's it. Not actually, yeah, really no accessories. So I guess I'll get my thoughts on that right now. Here we got the Winter Soldier, Bucky Barnes. And when it comes to accessories, uh, he's lacking on accessories. Of course, he has the hands, but I, I usually don't like taking those out because um, for someone who just takes them out occasionally and puts them back in a package, I just find them pointless. But if you are able to uh, like use them, like maybe for photos and everything, then I totally get why they add those in there. But I just would rather have like some weapon or something he can hold. Like I'm surprised they didn't give him like a gun or a knife, especially a knife, because I know the Lego minifigure had a knife. So I, I don't know. I just feel like they should have gave him something. And so yeah, that's just my thoughts on the accessories and everything. So with that. Let's take a closer look at the head sculpt. Here we got the head sculpt here. And one thing for sure is it, they could have done a lot better with this, I believe. From um, looking at reference sources and everything, he um, definitely needs some more facial hair, I believe. Um, not too much, but he definitely needs a little bit more than what's on here. Um, here's a side profile shot of him. So, yeah. I mean, it, it's it's definitely not the best. It may uh, re resemble him, the actor a little bit, but um, definitely could be a lot better. So, anyway, that's a look at the head sculpt. Let's not take a look at the body. Taking a look at the body, we get this kind of like navy blue sort of uh, shirt or jacket. It's more of a jacket now, I th now that I think about it. Um, it's like kind of zipped up and everything. Um, he has a, like a little black little strap that goes across here. Not quite sure if that's just a design on the jacket or if that's something because it kind of goes up to his shoulder, but it doesn't continue anywhere else. So you have that. And so yeah, um, you got his jacket and everything. Turning to the side of his arm. You get some more of that navy blue, but on the front here, kind of like right, actually all the way down through his arm. There's a little bit different lighter blues throughout the arm right there. And you get this like black fingerless glove um, right here. Of course, you can turn that. Turn to the back here. It's all one color, like the front. Basically, you got some more of that navy blue jacket design. And here we have his arm right here, the, the robotic arm. It's all black with some gold spread throughout, a little gold design. So I really like how that turned out. It's probably my favorite part of this character right now. Um, so you have that. It would be cool. I don't know if you can pop it out. I'm not going to try to, but if that, let me know if you could pop that out. Because that is kind of what happened in the show in one scene. But um, anyway, um, let's see. Moving downwards, we just got some black, basically, um, pants and everything. And some black shoes. So a very simple character. Uh, I know Loki was very simple design as well. I think I like Loki's simple design a lot more than this. Um, the only part I really find interesting about this um, particular action figure version of the Winter Soldier is the robotic arm. I do like how that turned out. So anyway, not too much else to say about it. Uh, it's, it's not the greatest figure, so it definitely won't make it too high up on the ranking and everything. But um, anyway, that's a look at Bucky Barnes. Let's now take a look at articulation. Take a look at articulation. We can move his head around 360 degrees like so. He can bend his head down barely any. Um, okay, so you can't do that really. He can't bend his head up too far. It does go a little bit, but not super far. Um, but one thing I would like to say, I also forgot to say, he has a, like a little collar for his jacket. Um, so that's something I forgot to mention during the review. But anyway, back to articulation. Uh, it does go side to side just a little bit, and I think I did this, but you can't turn him around 360 degrees like so. You can move his robotic arm around 360 degrees, pull it out that far, so pretty good range of motion there. Can bend it in that far, so again, pretty good there. It's kind of blending in with the background, I feel like, of the um, little background. Um, can you twist his arm around? You can basically twist the entire arm up to the uh, like shoulder area. Twist the hand around 360 degrees like so. 
he does have a little wrist articulation right there. And so you got that. And it should be mirrored for this arm as well. Pull it out that far, combine it in that far. You can twist basically the whole arm essentially. And then he does have wrist articulation right here. He even has like a trigger finger hand. So again, they just really should have gave him something to hold or whatnot. I just feel like that would have helped this character a smidge more. Not fully, but just a little bit. Now it comes to the waist articulation, turn him around 360 degrees, which might make like a snapping noise. I actually kind of, kind of like that noise. Um, you bend him down that far for the ab crunch and bend him back that far. So pretty good range of motion there. Doesn't go side to side. Um, you can do splits like so. You can kick up that far, so pretty good. And you can kick back that far. Um, same with this leg, should be mirrored and everything. So you have that. And then you can bend the knee down like so. And then you can bend his foot up that high and you can bend it back that far. So you got that. And I don't think he does a twist. He does twist at the whole lower leg part right here, 360 degrees. So it's gonna be the same for this leg, bend it in like so. You can bend his foot up that far, you can bend it down that far. And then it does twist at that leg um, area right there. And I think that's that's all the articulation this guy has. So yeah, a very, I hate, I hate to say, a very boring figure. You know, again, the only thing I found interesting was this robotic arm. But with that, let's now take a look at my final thoughts. Well, there you go. That is my review of the Winter Soldier from the Falcon and the Winter Soldier. Again, a very boring figure. I just feel like they need to add some sort of accessories and everything. And then, of course, the head sculpt. So, yeah, not the best uh, character from the way. I like the character, but just not the best. They could have done a lot better. But anyway, and even my pose. <laughs> look at my pose. It's, it's so boring. Like, anyway. That's my review of the Winter Soldier from the Falcon and the Winter Soldier. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Do you agree with me like that this could have been a better Winter Soldier and that it's not that good? Or do you or do you love this one? If you do, cool, I'm glad you do. Just I don't think it's the best. But anyway, love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. So with that, I hope you all have a good rest of your day. And I'll catch you all on the next one. Take care.